I asked some um, students about the role of parents in their learning at home, um, particularly around sort of preparation to exam time and what they wanted their parents to do. And sometimes the answer is, I just want them to feed me and I want them to be there for me, to catch me when I need them. But other than that, I don't want them near me. I want them outside the door. And it's really difficult, I think, for parents to just be in the wings waiting for that invite in to talk about learning. But, but when that invite happens, the child really needs it. They might ask for that in a variety of different ways. One, stomping around the kitchen and, and being grumpy and saying, you know, I, I don't know anything, I'm going to fail everything, this just isn't working. It's a real invite into a learning type conversation. There can be a tendency for parents to ask their children, how are you doing in terms of performance? And actually what that can descend into is very much a conversation about, well, have you done? No. Well, why don't you? I, I, that's not what the teacher said. Well, that's what I did when I was at school. Well, I, that's not what I've been told to do. Well, how are you doing? Do you understand it? And it becomes a very confrontational and quite a, a battle. And there's only going to be one winner and one loser in that. Usually it's, it's actually the parent who's a loser because the student stomps off. And then there's a, there's a breakdown in communication. If your child is coming down and they're banging around in the kitchen and they're looking disgruntled and they're saying, nothing is making sense, I'm not able to do any of this, then the parent doesn't jump in and say, well, why not? What's going wrong? The parent sits back and says, well, tell me about, tell me about that a little bit. What, what is really causing some challenges for you in English or in history, trying to be specific? And there is an absolute natural tendency to think about outcomes and to think about, so how are you doing? But the learning part of it is much more process focused. Not a, how are you doing type question. It has to be a, how are things going? The parent isn't an information resource or a knowledge resource or a strategy resource unless the child asks specifically for that. The parent is really a coach to help the student to find those resources and really use the strategies that they'll have been learning with their teachers in order to be able to tackle some of those problems. So it's really, it's coaching, which is a really difficult skill, I think, particularly in the home, where as a parent, the tendency is to jump in, fix, ask, advise, and really control. Whereas actually, for the parents to be in a supportive role about learning, it needs to be quite a, in the background position of, well, tell me a bit about that. What do you already have? And what is the most challenging bit? Or, well, where's the best place to start? Why do you think that's the best place to start? So there's no advice in that. There's just little tweaks and triggers gently from the parent to the child. Another student said to me, my strategy for doing something is not going to be the same as my parents' strategy. Teenagers are strong, and there's lots of positive words about teenagers. They're strong, they know what they want, they're clear, they, they think, they're very responsible, and, and they absolutely are the people who know what's best for them. I would say, though, that in the, in the context of learning, parents have to trust that. Even if they're sat there thinking, I wouldn't do it that way, we're trusting that they can be responsible for this and that we'll, we'll trust their methods. So if you are a parent trying to have the learning conversations at home with your teenager, it's very, very normal if they're difficult. They are difficult conversations. And as a parent, you're asking your child, what are you learning? Why don't you understand that? And you feel it descending and you're, you're conscious of that and you're aware that that is a possible outcome of the conversation. I would say pull back straight away, kind of make you a drink and stop the learning conversation and press pause because if, if there's a sense that it's descending, it's not, it's not going to be a positive learning conversation anyway. So I'd say listen for the invitation. I'd say pause and make sure you're thinking about what you're going to lead with. Remember that because for it to be an effective learning conversation, the process is important, not the product. At the end of the day, mistakes are going to be made. They always are with bringing up children and we need to just reflect, offer food, offer love, try again the next day.